teach you something you would love to hear things that you could do without spending much to make your bedroom look beautiful let's do it guys i said it that i've not been applying makeup for years i only apply when it's my birthday but this is what I always use on my lips because sometimes my lips get dried. And I don't like it when it's dry. Yes, let's talk about the things that we should not do in our bedrooms. Then we go straight to the things that you need to do. Just simple things to do to make your bedroom look beautiful and simple. So I'm sorry guys, I just want to hold the microphone because there's no way to pin it on my clothes because i don't want this small small noise like the ac noise and all that to pass through so guys me being off for a while was just me working on my growth especially on tiktok i was really working on the kind of content i should produce and seeing what people liked the more and what was working for me and i think i found that and now I think I have all that time for YouTube. I really want to do better on YouTube. I want you to be a part of everything I do here. So I'm, I'm really going to relax more. I don't want to be too serious and or sit up straight and start lecture you on stuff. No. I want to be me on YouTube. And I know you love that. As you all know, anytime I come here, I teach. Even on my TikTok, when you see my video popping, I want to educate. So even if sometimes I have to play around, you know, joke on TikTok, it's like, out of every five video i make on tiktok four goes to learning and the remaining one is just okay let's just do the trend and i love teaching that's one of the things i have to be but i want to also be myself like okay vlog sometimes do other things i don't want to just sit straight and talk about the reasons why you should learn this and do that no so join me as i do this and i appreciate you all for watching Today we are going to look at the things that you should not do in your bedrooms. So first of all, um, you should know that your bedroom is like a private space where you sleep, where you have your clothes on, where you have your privacy. There are things you should not do in your bedroom. You need to know these things. First of all, do not use your bedroom for social gathering. See, no matter how beautiful your bedroom looks, it is not advised, it is not proper to use your bedroom for social gathering where your friends can come in and all sit around your bedroom because you know it's looking nice and you want them to see how it looks. So you have to bring in people to, you guys should just chill in your bedroom. No, respect your bedroom. It's not that space for friends to just come and hang around and have fun. It's supposed to be your privacy. Your bedroom is not a storehouse. You don't have to store stuff and boxes in your bedroom. I used to keep stuff in my bedroom. I used to keep stuff like cartons of things I bought, but I stopped it. Um, you know, when I was little, when I was little, my mom used to save boxes so that in case we want to move out or you want to package that in again, it's of no use. Move out to where? Because we stayed in the same place for years. We didn't move out to anywhere. And even when we moved out, who would remember those boxes to couple them back into the boxes? So it's of no use. Throw away those boxes. It's of no use. Trust me. Do not walk in your bedroom. You're just going to be deceiving yourself. I want to read small and then you lie on your bed. <laughs> Sometimes you say you have an office space in your bedroom. You know, some people have this small place where they have their lamp, their chair and table. It's okay. I'm not saying it's bad. But if you are not disciplined, where you are trying to study your work, as you're seeing your bed, what comes in your mind is, let me just relax more. I'll continue. <laughs> you will sleep off. So don't make any kind of office space around your bedroom. It is not going to work. It will make you lazy, tired, and always wanting to relax. Do not eat in your bedroom. Very wrong. I know sometimes you feel like you want to have breakfast in bed but it is not advisable because you don't know if some of these ants and insects could hide in your duvet or around your bed sheets 
you should feel comfortable relaxing and it should be easy for you to sleep when you're in your bedroom so you don't need too much light in your bedroom darling so thank you your bedroom should be simple neat nice cool relaxing and that's it so try not to litter your bedroom you just open something you throw the pack around no take care of your bedroom let it look nice relaxing and beautiful let it look neat so let us look at those things that we need to do to make our bedrooms beautiful hmm, they are not expensive it's just that you have to be creative sometimes there are some little little artwork that you need in your bedroom i have one back there it is beautiful and it is not expensive it is affordable depending on the one you're choosing there are some that has so much meaning they're very educative and there are some that tells you about life depending on which one you're going for so try to get those at work they are so wonderful they make the bedroom beautiful you need them trust me you do and we have throw pillows at least two or three of these throw pillows or even one if you can afford to get one hmm, later you can just add up one or two more it is beautiful so you need throw pillows in your bedroom and then let's look at hanging lights you know these days there are so many beautiful hanging lights that i even get confused in fact people are creating things i'm telling you when i go to tiktok i see stuff so i watched a video and i saw someone used a basket someone used a basket to make hanging light it was so beautiful with the normal bulb that we have oh this normal bulb people are really creative and you can be creative as well you can just think of something if you don't want to buy you can think of something that would work i'm telling you some people use balloon not the normal balloon you know this decoration balloon those things are cheap so you need hanging lights in your bedroom just to beautify it you know you don't need the light to be bright all you just need is that color keep the floor empty i think i said this when i was talking about filtering your room please keep the floor empty you don't need to pack stuff pack shoes here and there you can make space for your shoes and if you know you're not using something why open it and keep it there so keep it arranged and do not keep stuff lying around the floor of your bedroom you need a plant in your bedroom even if it's a rubber plant like this one you have some gravels inside it is just beautiful you can tell that it's beautiful it did not cost me much this thing you are seeing here small money you need something like this in your bedroom just simple and beautiful all you have to do is to dust it and clean it when it's dusty that's all you have to do if you can buy the fresh plants and you can take care of it you can do it if you want to plant it yourself make it look beautiful do it if not just go for these rubber flowers it's beautiful no stress these things i have this about three or four of them around my house it makes your room your house look beautiful especially your bedroom so get you a rubber plant and beautify your bedroom thank me when you do that Anyone coming from outside to your sitting room can perceive what it smells like in your house. Make sure your bedroom smells very nice. It should be the part of your house that should smell very nice. So try and grab a nice scent for your bedroom so that even you, you would relax when you're in your house. It is not expensive. Go for it. And if not, there are more cheaper ones. There are more cheaper ones in form of paper and every other type. Just get something for your bedroom. Your bedroom should smell nice. I don't play with this. I don't. You need beautiful pictures of yourself in your bedroom. Some of you dress your bed in nice bed sheet when you are expecting a visitor. It's not supposed to be so. No. You should care about the kind of bed sheet you use. It should be nice. If it's white, let it be plain white. And if you love flowers and fancy ones, get pretty ones that should be on your bed fancy wall clock you need one of these fancy clocks just to beautify your bedroom you know keep it somewhere that your eyes can see it is so nice it makes the bedroom look nice so try and get one of these fancy clocks for your bedrooms a little wall decor do some small decoration on your bedroom wall create something with your head 
I do some of these things to beautify my rooms myself. I cut it myself with scissors and beautify my space. So you can come up with something. And if you cannot, you can go for these 3D wallpapers. I did some of them as well. You know, stickers, fancy stickers. Or you go to the supermarket, you're going to get all these rubber flowers that are like um, trees. They are like trees, they are like plants. They have leaves attached to them. All you have to do is hang them around your bedroom. Use them to beautify your bedroom space. And you love how it looks. Try to be creative beautify your bedroom make it smell nice make it look good sometimes it doesn't take money to beautify your space it takes so it doesn't cost much you just have to be creative you just have to make up your mind that you want to do it follow these tips i've given and you're just going to make your bedroom look so beautiful it is easy make it look spacious neat well arranged smell nice some art on the wall, some pictures of yourself on the wall, some stickers on the wall, rubber flowers, and you're good to go. So thank you for watching and don't forget to